friends, welcome to Science With Me. My name is Dr. Erica and I am so excited that you are joining us in our Exploring Mars unit as we celebrate the landing of our new rover on Mars, Perseverance. So today we are going to talk about the challenges of living on Mars because if we could possibly get some astronauts out to Mars, which is a really big feat in and of itself, the question is how would we actually live on Mars? Now, this is really tricky because one, Mars has really big swings in their temperature. So if the sun is shining directly on Mars, it actually might feel like a great 70 degree day and you're like, ah, let's go to the beach, let's have some fun. Minus the fact that Mars doesn't have any beaches because there's not liquid water that's accessible right now. That's a little bit of a problem. But the other problem is also that you might like go out in your nice, lovely, warm 70 degree weather and then a few hours later, maybe it's minus 110 degrees, which is massively cold. So there's huge temperature swings on Mars. That's one problem. We can't really survive those temperature swings. Another one is we can't breathe on Mars. That's a pretty big problem if you ask me. There's also the problem of like, ooh, when we look at pictures of Mars, it's like red and dusty and really, really dry. And last I checked, I love having some tea in the morning, which uses water. And I also love to eat some vegetables every now and then, or just I like to eat food every now and then, and that doesn't really exist on Mars either. The water we might be able to solve because there are some ice caps on Mars and we can maybe dig into those ice caps and warm those ice caps up and warm the ice into water. Maybe there's some solutions, and that is what we are going to do today. We're gonna to plan some fun solutions by creating a habitat for Mars. Now what you need for this project isn't too much stuff. You need your recycling bin, which is my favorite thing to build out of, and then building materials. So I have my trusty old hot glue gun with a whole bunch of hot glue sticks. I got some masking tape if I find that the glue doesn't work the way I want it to. I've got some scissors, some popsicle sticks if I find I need it, and then I have my printout. Now on the printout, if you print it on two pages, it's slightly better, but one spot we have to make a plan so we can imagine what we would like to do. And on the other page, we have some things and areas that we could think about. And the nice thing is, is you could cut these out and you could tape them onto your habitat as labels. So these are some things to think about. Like we talked about the air supply and the heat. We didn't talk about how nice it is to be able to turn on our lights each morning. Um, and maybe cook on a stove, that's pretty fabulous. So electricity is needed. We haven't talked about, ooh, isn't it great that if I get sick or I break a leg, I can go to the hospital? No hospitals on Mars. So we need to figure out a medical situation. Meteor shielding, Earth has its own meteor shield. That is basically what we see when meteors are trying to come in and we see shooting stars. It burns up in our atmosphere. But Mars's atmosphere is not as thick as ours and things don't burn up. So we could actually start getting like kerplunked by a whole bunch of meteors. That sounds like not so much fun. We need to shield ourselves from radiation because if we don't, we could probably get a whole lot of cancer and that's no fun if we send our astronauts up and get all this stuff up and running for them to just die of cancer. So we need to make sure that they're protected. We talked about how great it is to eat every day. And then I thought it'd be fun to have like a 3D printing area because maybe you need all of a sudden to build something and you want to be able to build it on site. You could do that with a 3D printer. You'll notice there's some blank spaces here because I thought up of a 3D printer, I thought that would be a lot of fun. Maybe you have some really great ideas yourself on what you could make there. So you can make your own labels there. So the first thing we wanna do is we want to make a plan. There's no right or wrong way to do this, okay, my friends? We are just building and creating and thinking about problems and how we could possibly solve them. So I'm thinking my Mars base, I'm gonna have sort of a base part, which I'm gonna use as cardboard. I think you could do something like a big bubble that our astronauts live in. I'm kind of thinking my astronauts might live underground in the base and maybe I have sort of pop up pieces where I have sort of like a greenhouse with my trees for my food. Maybe I have sort of a 3D printing or a science lab that's over here with my little computers and some chairs. Um, maybe I have, let's see, we talked about medical. So maybe I have like a little medical spot. Maybe it has a little sign, which is it's the little typical cross for a hospital. Um, 
maybe I decide I'm gonna have, ooh, my meteor shielding, ooh, that could be really important. So maybe I do want a bubble. Maybe I have something over here, which is like really strong lasers. And those lasers are gonna kapow meteors on site. That's kind of a cool, I kind of like that. Um, so you can be really creative with this. And once you have a plan, we can now set our plan in action. And that means we get to build. So with all of our building, we always wanna be safe and careful, but also have a lot of fun. There's no right or wrong way to build, okay? I am gonna get the bottom of my base from an old Amazon box like this. So I'll just take this guy right here. That's beautiful for me. And let's see what I have in here. Ooh, I have a milk jug, which could be good because it's kind of clear for my greenhouse. Do I have anything else that's clear? Oh, look, I have an old pesto jar. This could be great as my greenhouse. I really like that. And I'm thinking I want to put some trees so I know that it's greenhouse. I just happen to have this green box. So I could cut out some trees. Maybe my trees grow checks. That would be kind of funny. Cut some trees out of this. That would be great. And then we'll know that it's my greenhouse. All right. I'm just going to cut triangular trees of different sizes to go in that greenhouse of mine. Fat wide ones. And these guys, some of these guys have, ooh, they have some red, maybe they're like kind of like apple trees. Who knows? There's a nice tall one in there. These trees not only can provide food for us, but they can also create oxygen for us, which is also quite handy, because I like to breathe. All right. So let's glue some of this on. Glue some of my trees on. Whoops. This is where I'm going to put it. I have a small greenhouse, actually. Maybe I cut too many trees for my greenhouse. Hmm. Maybe I could do some vertical farming. That could be cool. All these trees in here. I think it's going to look great. Got to hold it in place as you glue a little because the glue will be really hot and it doesn't stick right away. I want to be careful about that. Barely. It barely fits. And I think this one we can get in on the other side. Alright. Whew. It's gonna be close. Alright, and then I'm gonna put my greenhouse on so that my trees can live in a warm, temperature controlled environment. And they can have water that won't evaporate right into the air. Which are all good things. I'm thinking that my astronauts are going to be undergrads. So they can come up from underneath, and this can all be bubbled in. All right, so now I've got my garden, my food growing area. So I could cut out my food growing label. If you wanted, you could keep the sort of explanation of what that is. If you don't, you don't have to. So this is my food growing area right there. All right, now I need a, ooh, I need the meteor shielding, and I really like the idea of a laser for that. I'm wondering what I could use for a laser. This red cap seems pretty great for part of it. Let's see. What other things do I have to choose from? Ooh, I like, I got this clear thing. This is not very lasery, but maybe it rotates. Ooh, if I had something that was like small that could rotate, that'd be cool. Let's see. Maybe I'll use the lid of this. And, oh, here, look, I'll put it on top of a sour cream container. This will be where it houses all of my, ooh, that's much bigger. I'm going to use this one. I'm going to, this is going to be where it has all the stuff. And, ooh, I'm going to put this on the end of a popsicle stick so it looks like it's shooting a meteor. I love that idea. All right, so I'm going to put some glue here and I can stick my popsicle stick in. The hard thing about when you have these popsicle sticks that go straight in is you really got to wait until the glue dries. And while I wait, I'll put this one down here. 
Actually, maybe I'll go small. And I'll just have this cap right here. And the cap will be on like a little rotator for me. That will free up more space on my base for other cool things. So once this dries, I'm gonna set it right here so that it can dry as I build other things. And that will be my laser beam. It'll shoot out my things and I can cut out my meteor shielding because I'm gonna shield for meteors with an awesome laser beam. All right, that's my meteor shielding area. Let's see, I need an air supply generation. Ooh, what would look cool as air supply generation? Let's see. I have a lot of cardboard in here. What recyclables are in here? Do I have a box in here? Hmm, could be useful. Maybe that's gonna be like something later. Some more cardboard in here. Hmm. Not so much. Maybe my air supply generation will be made out of this. And I can make it like a tent. That could be cool. Like a tent area that has like all these generators in them. I like that idea. All right, so I'm gonna do that. Now you'll notice that I don't have maybe everything that I want to have, but that's part of these building projects is making you think creatively of like, oh, I wanted to do that, but I can't because I don't have those pieces in my building bin. And that's okay. This is gonna be my air supply generator. I'm gonna put it by, I'm gonna put it by my food area because those trees will create oxygen, which we'll also can use for air supply generation. So I'll put that here, back here, just like that. And I will do my air supply. Now my astronauts can breathe, which is really good. I know if I ever go to Mars, I'm gonna wanna be able to breathe once I get off that spaceship. So here's my air supply generation. And ooh, I need to make something warm. Somehow I need to make things warm. Ooh, this is ready. Let's put this on. Just like that. We're gonna need a little bit more glue. The thing I love about glue is this hot glue is that you can build things so quickly. I really very much suggest grabbing one of these. All right, while I hold that, what could we use to generate heat? Hmm, ooh, metal. Metal's very warm. Maybe I could put some, like a metal area. It could absorb the heat from the sun on those sunny days. And maybe it like somehow is insulated so that it can keep the heat in and we can use that heat. Oh, I like that. I'm gonna take my soup out. Take this off. I can I only have one hand right now because I am trying to hold my laser in place to protect us. All right, I'm gonna put my heat generation. I'm gonna put that over here too because I'm thinking that my trees are gonna want heat as well. And since they're above the surface, I don't wanna lose very much heat trying to get it over there. So I'm gonna put that right there next to this. Let's plop some glue down. I'll put that on there. Just like that. And then I decided I did want some insulation. And maybe the insulation I use is just some paper bag. That could be some great insulation. So that it doesn't lose the heat as easily. All right, and you can kind of see how I'm going through this. And, ooh, but I want the metal to show. Hmm, I need something to hold this up as I wait for it to finish gluing, don't I? There, there we go. Now I have another hand again. That was a good way to solve that problem. All right, so let's insulate maybe just the bottom of it, of the can, because I really want to absorb the heat from the sun on those nice sunny days. Just like that. So we'll just put this around as some sort of insulator. Keep that heat in there. And this is gonna be our heat generator. I'll cut off that label and I can put it on there. And 
I noticed, you know, oh, I need my electricity. I think it would be fun to have some big solar panels. I'm gonna cut some solar panels out from here. I'm gonna need some really big solar panels to be able to generate enough electricity for my base. So, let's do that. Cut this piece off. This is gonna be just like one massive solar panel field right here. Come up right behind this guy so that we have lots of energy that we can divert to our meteor laser if we need to. So I'll put it right here. And it's gonna be my solar panels. And I'll be able to bend that backwards a little bit more, but this guy's still drying, so I wanna make sure I keep that up. Sometimes it's hard to be patient as those things dry with the hot glue. We're so used to it drying quickly. All right, here's my electricity generators. There are solar panels. And I need some radiation shielding. That could really, I might need a bubble over this. Oh, but actually my astronauts are underground and the ground is gonna shield the radiation. I could put my radiation shielding right on the base of mine because my astronauts are gonna live underground. I can just put that right here. Mars's surface is gonna be our radiation shielding. Thank you, Mars. Fabulous, now I just need a couple little things. I need um, my medical area and I need my 3D printing area. Maybe one of them is this. I'm running out of space, it needs to be little. Hmm, what do I have that's little? I don't know. Here, we'll do tall, something tall. This will be my medical. Yeah, I like that. Okay. Let's get this, let's see how, oh, that's almost there, there we go. Now I've got that little guy there. I can really bend this back. If I want it to stay back, I might have to glue it. I'm gonna put some glue so that it sort of stays bent back on me. I'm noticing a problem and I'm trying to find a way to solve it for myself. So that is beautiful. And then I can put my medical, maybe I'll put it over here just so we can see things. I feel like I'm gonna, well, Ooh, I don't want my medical to shade my electricity though. I am gonna put it back here. Medical is gonna go back this direction. So we'll just put some glue on there. Now, of course, you can definitely add paint. You can decorate this more. I highly encourage that. Make it look like something you can go for a scale model, maybe use um, like a little Lego person, which could be fun. All right, I need my 3D printing area. This is gonna be my 3D printing area. Which will be cool, because you could look out and get really good views, because it's nice and clear. Maybe that gives you some inspiration. It can go near the electricity storage, because 3D printing takes up a whole bunch of electricity. And that is what I had on my list. I'm curious what you might have added to your list. But this is what I'm getting for my fun little Mars habitat. I'm really enjoying my laser meteor shield. I really like that I was able to use Earth's land and its soil as radiation shielding. I think that's going to be really helpful so we don't have to build something really big. Um, and I kind of like that this is all like, this sort of stuff is a little like ancillary. We don't really need it all the time. Whereas this stuff we use all the time so like we could have like our living quarters right underneath that which I think would be fun. I hope you guys had fun building with us today and creating. Love all of the projects. I love seeing your guys' stuff. So make sure you guys snap a picture and email it to us. And I hope that we'll see you later on in this week as we continue exploring Mars as we celebrate Perseverance. Thank you so much for joining us and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye friends.